Today I'll be showing you how to edit like to the file. There's this specific clip that I'll be creating. Welcome to Glitch Tools. Okay, so we have our clip here. The first thing we're going to do is enable motion blur. Then let's add nulls, new null object. We're going to make our transitions and the zoom. Parent the layers like so. Then the first thing we do is make an in transition. So that's going to be 1080. And this should be negative 1920. Oops. Okay, 1920 itself. Then edit the graph. Okay, that comes from the slide. Next thing we want is let's edit the scale. Let's put it at 500. Do the same. And then remember, you have to move these two keyframes out of the frame. Okay. So we have the in transition. Next, we're going to make a zoom towards his face. Position and scale. Okay, something like that should be good. Then we'll be using the speed graph. Easy is your keyframes and edit your graph like so. Don't make the tip too sharp. Then let's do the out transition. Then we'll come back and see if there are any tweaking that we need to do to the keyframe. So the out transition, I'm going to make a scale out. Starting from 100 to 25. Do the same. Take it out. And let's just go with the rapid tile this time. Let's do 200 over 3. Make sure you set it as unfold. Okay, then let's add our shake. We're using the Vispa shake. And adjust it. Just play around with the way the keyframes are until you get the appropriate place for it. Just make some little tweaking until you get the appropriate look. Okay, so the transition is not so perfect, but for the tutorial, I guess this will work. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the color correction to it so that we can see how things will look like in the end. So I'm going to add it to the clip itself. I'm going to add uh, looks. And I'll just be going with one of the available presets in monofilm stock. The, Pro, the Prolostia 2100. Okay. Then the next thing I'm doing is I need to add the twitch shake. So I need an adjustment layer right above this clip. We're going to add the twitch. Then we're going to work with, let's do light and slide. Then go to operator controls and go to slide. We're going to put the slide RGB split to around, let's see. Okay, around 10. Then adjust the seed to get the type of look you'd want.
then I'm going to animate the amount hit U on the keyboard let it go from 100 10 frames forward and go all the way to 0 then edit the graph okay it's not so visible if we do it that way let's go from 0 then from 0 let's change the seed I don't like this color there so at around 4 I see it's black uh, red and green the next thing we'll do is we're going to add the little lights let me show you these little lights that come here and glow here at the top we'll be using some uh, optical flares flares then let's go to options and clear all then go to lens and objects and click on glow okay that's what we'll be using render mode on transparent take this up here then make the scale 80 and the brightness 150 put it here we're going to animate this where the bit is so we'll have three frame at brightness hit u move 10 frames back and 10 frames ahead so the peak i'm going to have 200 Let me edit the graph. Let's use the speed graph once again. And we try and make it look like it's coming from nothing to maximum. For it to come and peak, but don't make it too sharp at the center. Then duplicate this and move the second flare to the other side. Let's see what we have. see the brightness increases at this point the next thing we'll do is add this look this lines here looks similar to uh, TV damage but I think using uh, this effect the haze in the looks looks better so we're going to add looks edit the effect in the lens add haze flare set the color to white near the center and increase the opacity by moving this slider and set the spillage to around 30 Softness, leave it at 10. The reach, leave it as 50. Leave this as it is. Then the matte box size, let's take this to 0. Let's see that all. Reflection exposure, let's add this. But we can also have it up here. Alright. The next thing we do is we're going to add some scan lines. We're going to be using the effect as it is. Then let's also add camera lens blur. Let's put it above the scan lines. Then for the camera lens blur, we're going to come and animate the blur radius. Let it be at around 40 at the peak. Then go 10 frames up, 0, 10 frames down, 0, 
then come to scan lines enable that after you're done with that hit T on your keyboard to go to opacity you want to make 100 opacity at the center then zero zero so that this effect just comes and appears where the bit is let's edit the graph make sure you easy ease your keyframes then move this as it similar to what I'm doing okay let's see what we have all right if you see that this these little lights here are not working well for you you can increase the brightness let's go with the 250 then move them up do the same on the other side 250 move it a bit high remember one very important thing is the order of the layers the order of the effects if you come and interchange the camera lens blur and the scan lines you won't be able to see the scan lines you have to make sure the scan lines are below the camera lens blur that brings us to the end of the video to know how to improve the appearance of your edit and make it look 4k you're going to have to watch the next video Dream.